the Dodd family. I cannot believe that Isabel is one month old. Where has the time gone? You excited about turning one month old too? Y'all see, she's super pumped. <laughs> this is going to be Isabel's one month update. We're doing this a couple days early, but it is close enough to the one month mark that I wanted to get it filmed so that I can make sure to get this video up on time. I'm gonna do a quick postpartum update just on myself, and then we will get into little Miss Isabel and how she is doing. So almost four weeks postpartum, I am doing really well. I feel like ever since two weeks, it's just like been back to normal. I'm really thankful that I've had super easy postpartum recoveries with both of the births that I've had um, for Emma and for Isabel. I feel like my body just bounces back really well and things have gone really smoothly. So overall, I feel totally healed up and normal. All of the postpartum um, bleeding that I've had, that has stopped. So I'm just super thankful that things are going really well. Um, as far as the stitches that I had, those have healed up, all the soreness, any discomforts that I've had, they're completely gone. So super thankful for that, that everything has gone exactly well and how we want to see it go. Um, another thing for me for postpartum weight loss, I have lost 20 and a half pounds and I did share on my Twitter. I'm not sure if you follow us there, but, um, I did share on Twitter and also on Snapchat actually that I've lost, um, 20 and a half pounds. I only gained 13 pounds with this pregnancy. So I'm already ahead of where I started with, um, weight loss um, before I was pregnant with her. Um, I wasn't at a very happy weight for myself when I got pregnant with Isabel. I was trying to lose weight. And so I'm glad that with breastfeeding, it's just come off naturally. And that's something that I'm gonna continue to work towards. I will do another postpartum update when I'm six weeks postpartum after I go see my doctor and we'll talk about um, our family planning method for um, this time around and what we're going to do, but I won't bore you in this video with that. As far as breastfeeding, it's going great. Isabel is in a fantastic nurser. She has done so well with breastfeeding. Right now we are nursing about every two hours during the day and um, at night she has one three to three and a half hour span of sleep between nursing sessions and then she'll always have two hours um, from that time so usually the three and a half is like her first time when she goes down for the night she'll sleep about three to three and a half hours and she'll wake up and then she'll start on her two hour schedule again so she's doing really well with that um i am pumping in between uh, nursing sessions. I'm trying to pump right now two times a day. I'm trying to get it back up to three times a day with Emma when I was building up my milk storage for her for when I went back to work. I was pumping three times a day. Um, so I'm trying to get back to that. It's just been a little chaotic with managing my time <laughs> to make sure I'm getting in three pumping sessions a day. But right now I am at two. As far as milk that I have pumped and bagged and frozen for her for when I go back to work, we're about 55 ounces right now um, that I have pumped away and stored for her. So we are on track. I think with Emma, I had like almost 200 ounces. I'd have to go back and watch my videos, honestly. Um, but between now and the time that I go back to work, which is another, um, gosh, where are we? Eight weeks? <laughs> Yeah, eight weeks <laughs> um, from now, I will be able to have more than enough milk for little Miss Isabel to use while I am at work during the day and she is at daycare. So Isabel did have her first bottle this weekend. I will insert a picture of that for you guys if you don't follow us on social media. Emma get, did get to feed her her first bottle of pumpkin milk and she was so excited and Isabel did really great with it. It's something that I wanted to introduce earlier this time around because Emma really struggled with the bottle in general. Um, not so much when she was this age, but as she got a little bit older. So I do want to have more of that with Isabel where she did um, feeding from a bottle more frequently than um, we did with Emma. I think Emma was like six or seven weeks old when we introduced the bottle to her. Um, but Isabel has not had any issues with nipple, nipple confusion, whether it be taking a passy or taking the bottle. She's done really well with that. So um, other things with her, she is just such a good baby. She's really well-tempered, well-demeanored. Um, we did have her uh, one month weight check 
today. She's nine pounds, 9.6 ounces. So she is gaining weight like a champ and just doing really great overall. She's pretty easy going. Like I said, um, it's the only time she gets real fussy is when she wakes up, she's ready to eat. It's a zero to a thousand, um, frustration with her. Like she wakes up and it's like, Wah! like I mean wailing so um, other than that she just is such such a good baby and we love her so much Emma has just adapted so well fantastic overall to her like I've talked about in um, our one week update she just loves her sister and she is just over the moon smitten with her and I can't wait to see their relationship continue to grow but um, I'm trying to think of what else I can tell you guys about her. She's still in newborn clothing and newborn diapers. I'm sure in the next couple of weeks here that'll be changing and she'll be moving um, to zero to three month items. But she's just, she's an, she's an easygoing baby overall and we've just done really well with adjusting to her being a part of our family. I'll show you little Miss Isabel and then I'll also show you my four week postpartum belly since I did not um, do that in my one week update. But like I said, overall things are going really great. So let me show you little Miss Isabel. Oh, you gonna move now? Say hi everyone. <laughs> See, she's such a good baby. She's just so calm, calm demeanored. Yep, this is my four week postpartum belly I'll show you guys these are all my nice stretch marks that I got from Isabel these ones are from Emma and these side ones here were from little Miss Isabel but yeah overall this is what it looks like I'm back in all my normal clothes so that's good hey, thanks for watching if you're new to our channel don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching